All right, let's get it. So, this video is gonna be, no, it is mainly impromptu, completely out of the blue. Um, so, a lot of this is just gonna be very rambly and off the cuff, and there might be a lot of pauses. This is gonna be raw, uncut, maybe, I'm not sure. I'm kind of experimenting or maybe I will be experimenting. Um, I do have a topic in mind, but before I get to that topic, um, I <laughs> I wanna get this out. I, I'm struggling to find the greatest like possible expression of myself, so to speak, regarding these videos. Like, do I make them highly edited? Is there a certain factor of authenticity that's missing in highly edited videos? Um, because, you know, for me, the point of making a sort of highly edited video, making it sort of cinematic and all that stuff is to get you to feel what I feel. But then there's like, can I do that with just speaking, just being plain with you? Um, maybe I can mix in the two, right? And have, um, a whole video where part of it's highly edited and the other part of it's just like raw, right? I don't know. Um, I'm just expressing that tumult within me right now to you just so I can get it out anyway on to the topic at hand um, it's about love unconditional love it's something I've been thinking about my entire life just not realizing that I've been thinking about it my entire life I mean those words specifically haven't been sort of used or um, like earlier in my life but looking at it now that the principle is something that I've been grappling with for the longest um, and I've been grappling with something very specific um, regarding unconditional love and it's um, if it's unconditional is it there from the outset or does it grow what do I mean by that um, well Think of friends, right? How people make friends, um, how friendships are formed or whatever. Think about or contemplate on the nature of your friendship regarding like, like your closest friend. Think about how you guys became friends. What caused this friendship, right? This very, very close friendship. So I, I emphasize the closeness because I'm trying to get to love. This this friendship is a is a is a communion of love. And well did that love grow? Was it already there? And if it was already there, right from the get-go, does that make it unconditional? But if it grew, did it grow into something unconditional? But if it grew into something unconditional, doesn't that make it s still conditional? Isn't, aren't the basis for that quote-unquote unconditional love still conditional? Like, you guys have the same interests or the same tastes or the same humor, right? But that's all conditional, right? Those are all conditions that are being met and therefore you guys have grown this sort of bond, right? So when you express your love to your friend or either, either verbally or through actions, when you say to that person, I love you, or when you maybe imply even to that friend that I love you unconditionally, what does that mean? Do you really love them unconditionally? Do they unconditionally love you, right? Think, think about it the other way as well. Do they unconditionally love you? And I'm not trying to like do anything here. I'm not trying to like get you to question your entire friendship, right? I'm not, I'm not trying to like end any relationships. I'm just, this is an existential question regarding the nature of 
unconditional love. You know, there's the phrase, respect is earned. Is that the same for love as well? Is love earned? If it's earned, then is it really unconditional? Can your love for something or somebody be unconditional if it's earned? Regarding parents, right, to their kids, do you unconditionally love your child? Right, but what is, I have to set some things straight here though, because what does love mean? Because like, you could, your child could do something that angers you and you act coldly towards them. You punish them, you, I don't know, what, you give them a silent treatment that, I've heard that happen before. Um, it's been known to happen. You, you, you do something that the warmth is gone, right? Um, does that necessarily mean that love is gone? The love might still be there. You could call, you could call it a, a tough love, right? So it could still be unconditional, right? If your child was, if you discovered that your child was a convicted murderer, if you discovered that your child did something that's completely against your values, the, the values that make you who you are or what you think that you are, would you still love your child? Let's say you're a mother. You have, right, right, you have, you, and you have a spouse, you're not single. Let's say your child killed your spouse. Would you forgive them? Would you still love them? I'm, I'm asking all these questions because the love that I see, that I experience, that I observe, whatever, in social relationships, whether it be mother-son, father-daughter, son-father, friend-to-friend, work coworker to coworker, it seems contingent. There seems to be a contingent, a, a reciprocity, right? Um, in comparison to something more existential and universal. Um, something like the love of the universe or the love of God or the love of some greater force. Um, right? Something that I've experienced mystically, spiritually, um, meditatively, right, is that existence, reality, the universe, always, always has your back. Always, like always, like <laughs> always. Even when the going gets so tough, the universe is like, I hear, I can, I, I hear the universe just supporting me. And it's like, what did I do to deserve so much love, so much support, so much, like so much, like infinite amounts. And it's unconditional, right? completely unconditional. There have been times where I, I've screwed up um, with certain decisions and actions 
regarding this or that. And I, I get so hard on myself. We, you know, we humans, we get so hard on ourselves sometimes. But then there's, there's this thing beyond me, this, this presence, right? This, this presence, this, um, this universal presence, I don't know, this cosmic presence, so to speak. The present moment. It's like I'm anthropomorphizing the present moment. Right? The present moment, non-verbally, of course, communicates to me that it's there for me no matter what. No matter what. Supports me. Like, ex like existential support. I'm not talking about like a, a pat on the back. I don't, I don't, what, what other way to describe it? And I'm, I'm, I'm saying this, I'm getting woo woo and uh, a little wishy washy because I'm comparing that to social love, so to speak. That kind of love seems conditional compared to this cosmic love that I experience on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so, and keyword seems, it seems conditional. Because then there's experiences of just everything being made out of love. Love is the, is the driving force of the universe. The very substance of reality. I covered this in a previous video. All right, and so if that is the case, then it's within everything. It's, it's, uh, it's imminent in everything. It's like a pantheism, right? Where um, there's nothing but God. In this case, there's nothing but love. So that even means the seemingly conditional love between you and a friend, so to speak. You and your friend became friends based on this condition. You started to love each other and grow together based on these conditions, right? Um, was rooted out of a greater existential unconditional love. Um, the very substance of that relationship is unconditional love. But does that also mean that, okay, that the love that was conditional grew into an unconditional love, right? Because if everything is born out of unconditional universal love, then everything must then return or seek it out, seek out that unconditional love, right? Just as things begin from it, things must also seek, out, seek it out as an end. Everything, every single thing. That you can think of, like even even a an inanimate object. I'm not sure. Even on a human level, there are some people, very, 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 very small amount of people that reflect the, the cosmic aspect of love in their actions. Um, they make sure, completely unprompted, they make sure that you have everything in place. 
um, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. So, so like even that, even on the human level, even that makes regular quote unquote love, so to speak, seem conditional because this kind of love is unprompted. You know, those people who just beam, who radiate that. I don't know. I think there's a lot more to say or express, um, but I just don't have the means of expressing right now. So I'm gonna end it here. Leave your thoughts in the comments. I want I want to see I want to see essays, paragraphs in the comments. I don't want to see any um, short comments like "Oh, cool video." I don't know. I want to see thoughtful comments. I really want to know your perspective on this. I really want to know what you experienced and anything. I'm really curious. So yeah, I'm gonna sign out here. Get ready for a, a new video soon. Um, it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be highly edited. You'll see, You'll it, whatever. Um, yeah, I love you, but what does that mean? Who knows, okay, bye.